We've got a lovely history of working with the, the Jaguar team. So for us, this isn't something completely new. It's, it's a carry on of the relationship. I think Bremont and Jaguar connect because we cherish history, we cherish heritage, and uh, we cherish the idea of telling a story. And I think that's something that we both understand tremendously well. And we can tell each other's story as well, of course, which goes between the products that we can work with. And, and to that end, you know, there's a natural synergy between us because the way we think and what we want to get out of it at the end. And what we get, want to get out of at the end is something very exciting and also very honest. Something that's lots of fun, but also quite sophisticated. So there's a natural synergy in the way we think and the way we work. So, and uh, that's something that I really enjoy. So the lightweight E-Type was a special sports racing car that was built pre predominantly for the racetrack. And that's what it was made for. It was racing, it's a competition car. And um, it was designed in a way that would work on the track. It won, it won many races. It was a very famous car for winning races, one of the best race cars of its time. Actually now we are continuing with the production of those cars as the exact essence of what the original cars were. So they'll be identical in every way possible. I think the actually manufacturing of a car is actually quite similar to the manufacturing of a watch. You have an engine, you have a movement, it has to work, it has to be practical. They're very closely aligned both on the design and build side. What I love about the Bremen watch, two things. One is that it represents something very special to us in the lightweight E-Type. And the other thing is that it picks up the authenticity of that car, the lightweight, in, in such a, a believable way. When you look at it, it's authentic, it's simple, it's straight to the point, and it's very much part of that era. And if you know anything about cars, you'll see that immediately, and that's what I love about it, is authenticity. I think it comes down to you know, three key things. For us, it's engineering, it's precision, it's British. Um, we're very proud of that. Um, but I think it has to be about quality. I wanted to capture something that really was recognisable as being part of that car. So it wasn't creating something absolutely brand new. It was actually picking something from the past and reproducing it into something within a modern casing and modern uh, idiom. The rules of designing a Jaguar still prevail even within this watch. Simplicity and purity, integrity, and a clear understanding of what it stands for. And that's what Jag has always been about. So that's what this watch is about as well. So we looked at the lightweight E-Type and the original dials within the car. Um, so we thought, actually, if you're doing an E-Type watch, it really has to resemble those um, original features. And uh, we took the design off there and working with Ian the team, going back to the original archives to get the font, etc. So it's, it really is um, very closely aligned. When you're creating the watch, you're looking at all the different elements to it. The dials, the steering wheel, the leather, um, all of those elements. So, and you're building it in, which is quite easy in a way because there are so many iconic things to really inspire you. But I think this will lead to other things in the future as well, which I'm very excited about. Perhaps a little bit more in the creative essence, uh, but we'll see. <laughs>